Welcome to our live training session. We're going to be taking a look at how to calibrate and tune our K24 swapped Honda Civic Si using a Haltec Elite 2500 system. Let's jump to some details about our vehicle. We're going to find that this Civic Si has been swapped with a K24 engine swap. We also have a six speed transmission paired to the K24 engine. Now, the engine was rebuilt before it was put into the car. It has 12 and a half to one compression pistons, aftermarket rods. It also has upgraded valve train and using OEM camshafts. Now we've also installed a 50 degree VTC wheel or gear on our intake cam. Now in addition to this, we also have a Type S oil pump so we can safely rev the engine out over 7,600 RPM. We also have on the intake side of things, a Skunk 2 Ultra Street intake manifold and a cast 70 mil throttle body along with a custom intake. On the exhaust side of things, we have a custom header along with a cat back exhaust and then in addition to this, on the fuel system side of things, we have RDX 410cc injectors. We have a drop-in fuel pump. We're still running the returnless fuel system, but we're using a flex fuel sensor mounted on a return line. Now, in addition to this, we also have a zero to 100 fuel pressure sensor and an AM X series wideband that's been installed and wired in to our Haltech Elite. So we're gonna learn how to calibrate and tune this vehicle on both petrol 93 octane fuel as well as ethanol fuel using the flex fuel feature. We have a lot to cover and talk about. Let's jump into our live training session so we can get started. Welcome to our live training session here with our K24 swapped Civic Si. This training module, we're gonna focus on creating our base file to get our vehicle to fire up and run in our next tutorial. This is always gonna be the very first step when you're working with a new application. You have to go into the file and modify the file based on things such as your fuel system or the engine displacement or what kind of engine RPM you're gonna plan on revving the engine to for the brake points for your fuel and spark timing tables or all kinds of other details that are specific based on what you're trying to control and work with with your Elite. Now in this application that we're finding here, I have a plug and play uh, sub harness or jumper harness from Haltech that's gonna allow me to plug into the OEM wiring here in our EP3 chassis and then run into the Elite 2500 that we're programming for tuning and control here for this tutorial. So we can use a plug and play base file from Haltech that's suitable for this specific jumper harness. If you have a universal application, let's say you have a bespoke application, something one off, and you've created a custom harness or had someone create a custom harness for you, you'll need an input output list based on how the harness has been wired so you can go and configure all those details in a fresh or a new file working within your NSP software here. We have the luxury with a plug and play file like this where we can just simply select a base file from Holtec and modify that base file suitable for our application. So that's what we're gonna be going through in this tutorial, making sure that we've accounted for all the details so that when we fire up the engine, we'll have the best success at getting the engine to calibrate and tune properly right off the bat. So let's jump in here and take a look at modifying a base file. And then we're gonna walk through setting up inputs, outputs, setting up our fuel and spark timing and variable cam control tables. This is just getting things configured right, again, for the application. We're not gonna do any tuning in this tutorial, but a lot of specific details we're gonna walk through and getting this base file configured properly. So the first thing I wanna mention here is that I am in the offline mode. Offline mode means that I do not have my laptop connected to the Elite and the Elite is not powered on with the vehicle. So we're in the offline mode. This would be what you'll find yourself in if you're watching the tutorial, sitting on your couch, sitting in your bed, sitting at the kitchen table, you'll be in the offline mode. You can actually go and create your complete base file without being around the vehicle and then come into the vehicle at a later point in time and upload the file that you've created in the offline mode and bring that into the Elite and then start that calibration process. That's what we're gonna look at in the next tutorial, importing the file into the Elite and getting online, but for right now, we are in this offline mode. Let's jump in here and let's find the base file that we're gonna start with and then start to modify that. So what we're gonna do here is jump into the software and we're gonna go into file and then we're gonna go into open and this allows me to go into the base map directory to source the specific file that we're working with for our plug and play jumper harness that we're dealing with here. So we're gonna move right into our base map section and then we're gonna move down here into Honda because we're obviously in a Honda chassis here. This is the harness that we're working with. Now there's subfolders that are gonna be sorting the specific chassis or the specific vehicle that you're working with for your plug and play harness. There's DC5, which would be RSX, EP3, which is a Civic Si. We have OBD1, which is not gonna apply to this. It's the older Honda's an S2000. It's obviously an S2000 chassis. We're gonna go in here to our EP3 option since I'm using an EP3. And then we have our files, the base file, sorted by the specific elite box that you're working with. These are 
specific files that have to go and pair to your box. So you don't want to go and try to upload an E1000 or Elite 1000 file to an Elite 1500 or vice versa. In this case, I have an Elite 2500. This is probably going to be a little bit of an oddball when you're looking through the, the files here, to, which one to choose, you're likely to not have a 2500 Elite. You're likely to find that you're having either a 1000 or a 1500 with a K-series application. That is what ha the Haltech usually sells on their website is a, is a 1500 as an option uh, that they usually pair with the jumper harness. So I'm not going to choose the 1500 because I have a 2500. Choose the file that's associated to the Elite box that you're working with. Just make sure you note that as you're building this out. Don't select the incorrect file. Let's click, click open here and allow this to open up. And now what we're going to find is we need to start to modify everything and going through our navigation tree. So the navigation tree can be found over here on the side. And then we can see this is all of the directory to find every aspect of the calibration file. Now we do have our tabs that are available to, available in the training courses or layouts, these specific tabs. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.